Hey everyone. So I got a thousand subs and like I promised, there will be no reward for it except for the pleasure of more YouTube videos. I'll try to post more frequently and yeah, it's only on the way up from here. As always, like, subscribe, even though we're at a thousand, that doesn't mean you have to stop doing it. Um, please, if you haven't already, um, like and subscribe to my channel. And this week's video is going to be a little bit different. It is not going to feature any table tennis playing, but more about this, the giant round robin. So I'm going to be running a tournament here in Dallas, Fort Worth area, sponsored by Grapevine Table Tennis Club. And it's going to happen on October 2nd. So if you live around DFW or Texas, please come to it and support me because this is my first time running a tournament at this new club. I've ran a lot of tournaments for Austin Table Tennis Club in the past, but this will be my first one in a new setting. Um, it's unsanctioned, so no rating points to lose. So why not play, right? Anyway, let me explain the structure of this tournament. First of all, to register for it, you have to go to www.omnipong.com. The link will be down below in the description of this video. Go down to the tournament tab and scroll to Texas, way at the bottom, and enter in the DFW round robin. We are not taking paper entries, so do not try to email me a form because I will reject it. This video is supposed to inform you about how a giant round robin works. So what does it mean? What's, what's giant about the round robin? So in a traditional tournament, you only play a round robin phase. And then if you're in the top one or two, depending on the tournament, you will advance to the elimination round where it's like a crossover and you play in the round of 16, quarterfinal, all the way up to the final, right? But in a giant round robin, you get to play more matches. Everybody in the tournament will play at least eight matches up to a maximum of 11 if you advance to the finals. So let me explain how that works. So in the morning, you'll be placed into a group with five other participants, and there will be a total of six in that group. So we'll have seed number one, seed number two, seed number three, and so on. So in the first seed position, we'll usually have a high level player who's like, 2,500, but let's just say the first seed here is Ma Long. He's like 2,800. In each subsequent place, there should be a pretty big gap in your rating, at least 100 to 200 points. But for the sake of this, nobody's 2,800, but let's say the second place person is like a 1,900. Um, then here there would be like a 1700 person. And then so on, right? You understand. Um, so there will be six players total. And then there are gonna be a bunch of groups of, um, of these six people per group. So there's gonna be a total of 16 groups um, all the way until group 16 with the exact same structure. And then from here, it is anticipated that this person will advance to the A division. This person will advance to the B division, right? But let's say, uh, let's say I'm the fourth seed and I have to play the 1700 person, right? Let's say my rating is like 1500. What happens if I beat the 1700 person? In this case, I'm going to advance to the C division, and this person will probably go to the D division. And this is not a guarantee because what if there's a three-way tie like, um, so let's say Chase is here and Chase beats me, but I beat 1700 person and 1700 person beats Chase. This is a three-way tie and there's an algorithm that I don't care to go into of how, um, how this is sorted out to be who advances where. But in general, there is the possibility that you can upset and play in a division up from where you belong. So let's say in this tournament, this happens, right? Let's say 
Ma Long goes to A, 1900 goes to B, 1700 person goes to D because he lost to me, and I go to C position. Then Chase goes to the E, this person goes to the F, whatever, right? Um, that's all great. You probably understand how that works. But in a traditional tournament, in the second round, would begin with a sim uh, single elimination, and there would be there would be kind of like a, a bracket like this, right? Where Ma Long would go up here, and then Fan Zhendong would go here. But in this tournament, it's called Giant, right? So what's different about it? Here's where it gets interesting. Instead of going immediately to the single elimination, all the A's that had advanced out of the 16 groups in the morning at 9 a.m., all the A's are going to go into an A round robin, and then all the B advancers will go into a B round robin, and so on. Because there's 16 groups of six, that means there will be an A, B, C, D, E, F division. A, B, C, D, E, F, that's six divisions. So that's how um, the 16 groups of six will work out. So at around 1.30, usually, we'll begin the second round, where this is another round robin. In this round robin, I'm going to split people up like this. So let's say this is the A, this is the B, this is the C, and so on. In the A, we will have, since there's 16 groups, there are going to be 16 advancers into the A division, 16 advancers into the B division, into the C division, same thing. So in the A division, there will be four groups of four to total 16, and same for all of these. So let's say in group number one, this group of four, there is Ma Long. And then in group number two, that's the, he's the first seed in, um, in this group. And then there will be, there will be others here. Let's say, um, let's say I actually came to the A division. Brian, let's put Chase here too. Chase, and then we'll put some like 2000 here. Okay, so in each group, there will also be a separation because it's a snake draw. So Ma Long will be first, and then the second seed would be here, the third seed would be here, fourth seed would be here, so we'd probably have Fan Zhendong here, Xu Xin here, and then we'll have like Zhang Jiku here or something, okay? And then it'll snake back around like this, and then there will be a separation between first spot, second spot, third spot, and fourth spot, and the same will apply in every single division. And then from here, what happens? The top two will advance out of here into, uh, based on these results of this round robin, the top two finishers will advance into the single elimination round, right? So if the top two advance in each of these groups, that's gonna be here, here. And of course, if there's an upset, let's say Chase beats Brian, that would never happen. <laughs> Just kidding, if you're watching this, don't be offended. Um, if Chase beats Brian, then he would advance as the second finisher, right? This is makes sense. And from here, there will be two players advancing um, from each group into the single elimination. And this would start around five o'clock PM, right? And Ma Long would go here. Fan Zhendong would probably go here and so on. So there will be eight total advancers since there's two from each of these and there's four groups. Um, and then you'll continue to play here, like this, just like this, and then boom, boom. So this is the quarterfinal. This would be the semifinal here. This would be the finals here. And there will also be a third, floor, third fourth place match. So if you total up the matches, in the morning, you're gonna play five people, so that's five. And then in the afternoon, you'll play three other people, that's eight. And then if you advance, you have the opportunity to play one match, two match, three matches here. So that will be a total of 11 matches. So that's how I got to those numbers at the beginning of the video. So the price for this tournament is about 50 bucks. And that's reasonable because if you think of it, you're playing eight matches up to 11 matches versus in a traditional tournament, you might play one round robin and that's like two or three matches. You lose and you don't advance and it's over and you paid 30 bucks for that event, right? So let's say you played two events, that'd be about 60 bucks. 
which is about the price of what this tournament is. So a reasonable price, lots of matches, unsanctioned tournament. I don't see why you haven't signed up yet. Like it should be full and it's only been out for a day. So there's actually plenty of room, but go sign up if you want to. Disclaimer, you do need to have an Omnipong.com account. It's not hard to make one. You go in and go into Omnipong and go to member access, which is a tab up at the top. And you can click on create new account if you don't have one. And then it's gonna ask you what your email is. You'll get that verification to your email, link it to your USATT account if you can. If you don't have a USATT account, then um, just text me at my number, which is located on the entry form and let me know what your approximate rating is. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that and we'll figure something out. But even though it's unsanctioned, we will be using your USATT rating for seating, but none of these results will be sent to USATT um, to affect your actual rating. You just get the glory of winning and there will be trophies for division C through F and then there will be prize money for divisions A and B. Check on the entry form to see how much that is. This tournament should be over by 7 p.m. if everything goes according to schedule. Um, I ran a tournament in Austin about a month ago and it turned out pretty well. We got people out of there by seven o'clock. So we didn't run long and overall it was a good tournament. So hopefully this one will go just as well. And yeah, feel free to comment if you have any questions about this tournament or about anything in general. I know this is a little bit different than your typical ping pong video but it's okay, you'll have to deal with it because I'm trying to make life easier for people that don't understand what a giant round robin is. Thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up. See you next time.